Housing for many on island is already an issue, but it's especially problematic for some of our most vulnerable. Acting Executive Director for the Guam Housing and Urban Renewal Authority, Elizabeth Napoli, shared the reasons why some of Guam's menuncles aren't able to remain housed. A common issue is that the elder may be on their own and in need of a caretaker. And oftentimes they can't afford caregiving services. There are um, providers out here, out there that, that provide caregiving services, but it's affording it that, that um, you know, is the issue. And, and it really breaks my heart when I receive calls from um, those elderly um, that tell me, you know, um, uh, I can't uh, live here by myself, but uh, I can't afford to have a caregiver. What kind of help can I get? Napoli stated when calls like this are received, Gura contacts other agencies that specialize in caring for elderly people. And I have to reach out to, you know, um, the adult uh, protective services uh, or the public health um, services for the adults. I have to reach out to uh, any one of the other um, agencies that provide support services to see what can be done. And oftentimes, the funding is the problem. If they are in fixed incomes and then on top of that, they have medical issues, uh, they need caregiving, um, they need transportation services, et cetera, it becomes difficult for them. And sometimes uh, they end up having to lose their housing because they can't afford the rent anymore. Family support also plays a big role in the lack of housing for some. That's how come they end up coming to Gura, is because their families can no longer house them um, and they need to, to be housed somewhere. So yes, that is how we end up getting referrals. Um, and they're usually referred by, by one of the other agencies or they call themselves and say, I'm, going to, I'm at risk of homelessness, um, how can you help me? And then that's when we get as much information as possible from them regarding their, their um, situation. They just don't have um, enough social workers, enough caregivers, people that can provide that one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, assistance to the vulnerable populations like our elderly and our persons with disabilities. Napoli added that Gur has been meeting with other groups to tackle the situation on keeping the islands elderly housed. These include Senator Amanda Shelton's Senior Citizen Housing Task Force and UOG's recent housing symposium that was part of the University of Guam's 13th Conference on Island Sustainability. Daniel Perez reporting for KUAM News.